Hi everybody, I'm Chris Wook. If you're in the market for a dual SIM phone, your choices are fairly limited. Is the Samsung Galaxy Grand Duos the phone for you? Find out in our review. While dual SIM phones aren't that popular in North America, they're much more so in the rest of the world. The problem is finding a dual SIM phone with some higher end features can be pretty tough. Let's find out if the Galaxy Grand Duos is up to the task, starting with the specs. The Samsung Galaxy Grand Duos packs in a 1.2 GHz dual core processor, 5 inch mobile WVGA display, 1 GB of RAM, and 8 GB of internal storage expandable via microSD. Its rear camera is 8 megapixels and capable of recording 1080p video, while the front shooter is 2 megapixels and records 480p video. Powering it all is the 2100 milliamp hour battery. The design of the Galaxy Grand Duos is reminiscent of both Samsung's Galaxy S3 and Galaxy Note 2. While the design is unmistakably Samsung and build quality is solid, it's just a little too large to use comfortably with one hand, though that is to be expected in a phone this size. The display is clearly the weakest point of the Galaxy Grand Duos. The low resolution of 480 by 800 pixels certainly doesn't help, and I saw some backlight leakage at the top of the screen. There is a benefit to the low resolution, however, in that it actually improves performance since the hardware doesn't have to push as many pixels. We weren't expecting super impressive performance out of the Galaxy Grand Duos, so we were actually pleasantly surprised with how well it ran. Scrolling is very smooth, apps launch quickly, and the games we tested ran fairly well. And Tutu benchmark scores varied quite a bit, with the final average score ending up at about 7,500. The Galaxy Grand Duos runs Android 4.1.2 Jelly Bean and, of course, runs Samsung's TouchWiz on top of it. The usual suite of S apps are included, and some features from higher-end Samsung devices have been included, like split-screen, which you'll either love or hate. The rear-facing camera on the Galaxy Grand Duos is very usable, but not quite up to par with Samsung's higher-end phones. In good light, it was fine, but low-light performance isn't great. Video capture was decent, but it wasn't very sharp and looked noisy in some darker areas of the video. While the low-resolution screen and less-than-top-of-the-line hardware should and do help the battery life, the 2100 milliamp hour battery still doesn't last as long as we'd like it to. We got about six hours of moderately heavy use, and if you're using two SIMs, you can expect battery drain to be pretty steady. In the end, it's clear that unless you need dual SIMs, there are many better phones on the market. That said, if you do need dual SIMs, the Galaxy Grand Duos is one of the best options currently available. If you'd like more in-depth information on the Galaxy Grand Duos, we have a full written review on our website. The link is available in the description of this video. Now we've got new videos going up all the time, so if you want to stay in the loop, make sure to subscribe to our channel. I'm Chris Wook for Android Authority, and thank you for watching.